and we're going to highlight his work on his wall. Hi, I'm Bob. Uh, we talked a bit earlier about the show in totality, um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about um, my own project um, right now, which is called Rough. Uh, it's called Thirty Nine Steps. Uh, it is roughly the idea of uh, taking, rather than myself selecting the photograph, um, I put myself out in a public space and let a predetermined count determine when I'm going to make the photograph. So, for instance, this series, this was taken on the streets in Munich, Germany, um, where I would be walking. It's not sequential, by the way, here. Um, where I'd be walking along and, as I said, just every 39 steps I would stop and make a photograph um, and then later on see what, what happens and how that works. The interesting thing I find, especially in these, is it kind of sort of dovetails into, into surveillance uh, photography a bit. There's an artist, Sophie Cal, who did a... Um, series, um, gosh, back in the 80s, I believe, uh, when she followed one person around and photographed this one person only. By the way, uh, Christopher Nolan's following the film is, uh, take, is a direct kind of uh, takeoff of Sophie Cal's work. Um, so these, I, I think, in some way, they have that surveillance kind of, kind of look to them. In these prints, you really don't see necessarily a lot of the city cameras. Um, in other um, work that I have, you can, you'll see there are photographs of um, cameras in the photographs, and the, the cameras basically looking back at me photographing the camera so there's a lot of a lot of surveillance going on but I liked the kind of individual um, aspect and the space aspects of these and they uh, interestingly they fit together in in many ways even though each time the the um, subject being photographed is different so um, yeah, I hope to uh, continue the project and to continue this show. And uh, if there's anything, you know, uh, if you have any questions or any interest, you can contact me at email is bmarkovich.net. Uh, sorry, bmarkovich at earthlink.net. <laughs> or my website, mrobertmarkovich.com. Uh, thank you. Right. Thank you, Robert. Sorry. And I'll meet you like again. I'm looking forward to seeing more of your work. Thank you. What I have is, uh, for the people who don't know, what is your first day? How did you get started? I understand you're a great architectural photographer. Um, well, yeah, that, that's an interesting point. Um, one of the things I became known for, I started photographing probably in the uh, very late 80s, early, or sorry, very late, early, early 80s, very late 70s. Um, on the um, new topographics had just come out and was sort of taking, taking over um, the, the aspect of uh, how people photograph at, uh, quite a clip. Um, my my initial works were were landscapes and su were mostly around suburban areas where I had lived, um, and the interaction of man man made and natural things. Um, in the later '80s, I started doing a project with the California Museum of Photography which was a renovation project of an old Crest building that I thought would be really simple and I would make uh, 12 negatives or something like that. I would say all this time I've been working with a 4x5 camera and 4x5 film, which is a really large camera and it becomes a large piece of film, literally 4x5 inches. Um, what you trade off in 
uh, mobility is quality in the image and the print work at, at the uh, on the on the dark room or at the end end site. Um, so this the four x five camera also lent itself to architecture really well. In fact, all professional photographers of architecture for a long time used four x five cameras or even eight by ten cameras. Um, so I started doing this project, and it ended up being a, a couple hundred images I made of a of a renovation of an old Crest building in downtown Riverside, and um, the images were, were very evocative to to a lot of people, and the people saw them, and um, certain people saw them in um, Los Angeles, and I was invited to photograph some other architectural projects, one which has been, was the, uh, the Eames redesign um, to Brighton Associates in 1990. Uh, that was a Frank Israel project. Um, there's a, a, a uh, Frank Gehry, um, a Malibu residence, and uh, a number of other projects, a number of Frank Israel projects, Vir Virgin Records and the Vi Weissman Pavilion. Um, and my idea with the architectural work was not only to record the architecture, but bring something, bring a different look to it. Um, and my emphasis was on pulling out pieces of things that possibly people wouldn't normally pay attention to. So um, that went on through the 90s. And then I went on to photograph um, at a, the Riverside Historic um, courthouse renovation project as well. And then I did a project on film sets, which was um, the, a science fiction series, Babylon 5, which was an early cable TV series, um, which was really pretty amazing to work on because you see these facades that look so real when we see them in, in, on film, in broadcast. Uh, but when you're there, they're, they're just these, these facades, constructed facades of things that are, are just actually amazing on many different levels. Um, and after that, I've, I went on to work on several other projects. I have one called Looking West, which is photographing and kind of at basically on the coast. Um, and pushing subject matter to the edge of the film. Um, it has a lot of reference to painting. Um, I did a project with Manzanar that I'm kind of reviving right now. So the architectural work got probably the most attention, I would say, um, like in, in publications and exhibits. But I work with uh, a number of parallel projects. And I, I'll work with whatever is of interest to me, another I have another uh, a studio still life project that I'm working on right now as well. Um, so it's kind of whatever whatever works becomes becomes a project, and of course uh, all ideas they don't all manifest into a tangible thing. But uh, if you take the idea and you're able to manifest it into a tangible thing and then kind of work with it and massage it for a while um, and then see what comes of it. And that's the process of creating work. I um, really appreciate that. And like I said, I'm a fan of your work now and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing, seeing more and more of it. Okay, thank, thank you very much.